All right, hey everyone, welcome to another Project Zomboid run. We're just starting fresh, got absolutely nothing, and we're gonna try to survive for as long as possible. Will we survive for as long as possible? Probably not. We'll probably die to something completely stupid, but hey, we'll give it a try. So my plan is, well, I just started in Rosewood, and my plan is to actually live in the double warehouse. Will we actually live in the double warehouse? God knows. I don't even know if I'll get there in time before everything goes stale. So what I'm thinking is I will get to the... Uh, Get to the fire station, get myself melee, some good clothes, uh, the usual good stuff, and then from there we will go to uh, try to get ourselves a car, get ourselves some guns, fill up the trunk with as much stuff as possible, and uh, from there we would live in, in the double warehouse, temporarily though, temporarily, but yeah, that is the plan, um, so... I don't really know exactly where I spawned in, actually. Now, keep in mind, I only have around, like, 30 hours, so I'm quite new to the game. But that's really... That's currently what my goal is. I think if we live in the double warehouse, that would be... That would be quite good, you know? A bunch of a bunch of food over there. So that's going to be my my plan for now. Yeah, this is... Uh, I think I know where I am then. We just have to cross this building and we'll get, I think, to the school. And then from there, I would... I, I should have an idea where I am, actually. It's quite foggy right now, so... But yeah, the server is basically... Normal. Now, if it's your first time here, I'd really appreciate it if you guys subscribe, drop a like. Each one helps the channel grow a ton. And if I see a lot of support on these videos, I'll definitely do more. I'll, you know, try to do a, a long-term series. That's really my goal. I want to survive 100 days. I've never survived 100 days. My record is 14 days, so I don't know how I will actually do that. We'll give it a try, man. That's really the important thing. This guy got up. I really hope this butcher knife won't. Disappoint me, man. I hope it survives for as long as possible. There's another zombie here. I should have been checking the zombies for watches, actually. Yeah, this one does have a watch. Perfect timing. Yeah, it's currently 10 a.m. only. All right, no problem. Let's just get inside here. Fanny pack, good. All right, we got some. We got a little bit of storage. Nice. I want to get as much bottles of water as possible as well. Sheets of paper. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Let's drink. I'm not gonna wash myself, obviously. This door is broken. Oh, this is the kitchen. Okay, so what we're gonna do, obviously, is we're gonna eat the fresh food first. So, you know, it doesn't, uh, we, we, we don't waste the canned food already. We already have some canned food. Obviously, we're gonna try to take more, get ourselves a can opener, which we did not have. In terms of other food, there isn't anything else, man. That was, the house was poor. All right, let's get ourselves a pen, magazine. Let's read that, just in case we're slightly bored. And let's mark on the map. So we started over here. So, we'll mark those. Now, I do mark the houses that I've been in. Even though I probably won't even... Oh, there's more zombies here. Alright, let's see if there's any books. Yeah, there's one book. Take that. Comic book, first aid, trapping. Yeah, we don't need any of these. Oh. Hello there. I really thought you were gonna try to get inside the door, you know? But he didn't. Let's check out the tool shed now. Maybe we'll get ourselves a better melee. I genuinely don't know if I'm actually going the right way right now. But yeah, my plan is get to the fire station. Get, hopefully, a fire axe. I do have... X1 already from the um from the build that I've got. Oh, there's just books here. Metal pipe. I mean, we could take that and drop the rolling pin. That's definitely better. So let's drop the rolling pin. And what's over here? Gauze can. Oh, that's good. We definitely need that. That's actually good that we got this this early. So I will not complain. We got ourselves slightly a better melee than the rolling pin. That's our backup weapon, that is. Let's check out this tool shed now. Please give me something decent. I beg. Oh, it's locked. Should I try to break it? Nah, maybe not. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own Project Zomboid server and have no idea how to start? Then I recommend checking out Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting, you can make a server in minutes. The servers all have high performance and super easy to use. When I started using Pine Hosting, I had no idea about anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I did learn the basics very shortly. They have DDoS protection, locations all around the world, and affordable pricing. They also have a workshop installer, which is super easy to use. If you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your server. And also, it's not just Project Zomboid Hosting, they also offer a wide range of games such as Minecraft, Rust, and Unturned. If you guys are interested, make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and use the called LDG for 30% off, and let's get straight into the video. Maybe not. We'll check out another tool shed, I guess, later on. Come on, please open. Alright, lovely. No alarm either. Good. Close the window. We cannot sleep yet. That's okay. We're not too tired. So for now, yeah, we're just gonna house hop, get as much loot from each house as possible. Only the best loot, obviously. There's nothing good over here. In terms of here, yep. Nothing either here. Some zombies outside. Yeah, there's some food over here. I saw another meat cleaver, too. Okay, there's actually a few zombies in here. It's gonna be a, a pretty crazy battle. Battery will take that. And, um, how many zombies are there? Like, 
Okay, there's actually a few zombies here. Okay, there's a lot of zombies. I should run. There's too much zombies right now that I cannot handle all of them. All right, let's lose them in the trees, hopefully. Oh, is that the skull? Yeah, that's the skull. Maybe we'll hop over there then. Let's try to hop over there. Yeah, it is the skull. Yeah, we're gonna have to try to lose all of these zombies. If we manage to lose these zombies, that would be huge. Let's try to get inside the skull. Three zombies here. Let's try to take them out. I am not equipped enough to fight that big horde already. One's dead. One more dead. Alright, all dead. Jacket. Wear. Quickly. Alright, let's get out of here. Did I wear it? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm gonna get into school and the only thing I'm gonna try to get is like the food, basically. See what food there is over there. Yeah, we're okay. And maybe we'll get a school bag as well. Probably gonna have to smash window, yeah. I probably alerted a few zombies, but... At this point, I don't really care. Empty bottle. Oh, we'll take that. I didn't even know trash cans can have water bottles. All right, please give me a backpack. Uh, nothing in this one. Book, video game, eraser. Uh, these are these are bad, bro. More books. Baseball cap. Really? Come on, man. Give me a bag. Oh, there we go. School bag. Equip on back. All right. So that's something else that we really needed. Obviously, a backpack. So that I'm happy we got that. Uh, let's fill up the water bottle while we're here. And let's drink. Beautiful. Yeah, a bunch of books over here. In terms of these, these are nothing good. Yeah. All right, let's check out. Maybe there's another bottle here. Nope. There's a cockroach, though. Ugh. This ghost. Okay, there's two zombies in here. Hello? Come on. Oh, they're clueless. All right. One's dead. Bro, Meat Cleaver is actually doing well today. Usually Meat Cleavers don't... Re oh, there's another one. We're getting slightly exerted as well. So we gotta... After this, we gotta rest for a bit. We'll sit on the ground. Eat something. Alright, lovely. Okay, let's sit on ground for a little bit. Speed up. Yeah, we're okay. Already, damn. Let's eat some of the uh, cheese. Slice of cheese. Why <laughs> not? There's another empty bottle here. Beautiful. Let's let's take that. Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay when it comes to water. We already got ourselves two bottles. I think there's more zombies around. Empty bowl. Maybe we could take that too. Alright, any food? Dish towel, plate. There's some uncooked food over here. Lettuce, ketchup, processed cheese. Let's take the lettuce. Sugar, rolling pin, apron, bologna. We could slice bologna. No, man, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Hot sauce, yeah, we're not gonna take that. Yeah, there's some food here. Pizza slice. I mean, we got ourselves a bunch of... We got ourselves a bunch of fresh food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of the fresh food. And for now, we'll, we'll keep it on us. And when we need to eat something, we'll just eat that. You know? We'll prioritize the fresh food first. I'm not gonna take potato, though. Salami. Sure. Over here, nothing good. Potato... Maybe we can cook this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook them really quickly. Hopefully they won't go stale. I think in reality, if you actually cook food, they won't get bad quickly. I don't know, but I think that's how it works. Let's turn it on. Let's wait for them to cook. Oh, they're burnt. Oh, they're burnt. Good. We'll keep this on, so I don't care. All right, and let's go. There's a zombie in there. Yeah, yeah, shut up. And the problem is, I don't exactly know which way I have to go for the fire station. I think I have to go keep going the same way that I'm going, though. I think I have an idea. Still don't really know the map by heart that much. Alright, lovely. Only two zombies, good. Some zombies there. Some cars down there, so maybe we could try to siphon the gas really quickly. Maybe we could actually try to get the car already. We just need to find ourselves a decent... Oh, wait. But the thing is, I don't really think it's a a good idea to drive a car this early. I need to get myself better melees, better arm, and all of that. 100%. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't. Um, all right, let's just get out of here. We'll do that later. Let's let's let, let's not prioritize the car right now. Let's actually prioritize trying to survive. You know, I think that would be a, a good idea. There's a bunch of zombies there too. So. Okay, there's a few zombies around. Uh, let's just try to take them out. One dead. One more dead. All right, good. Perfume. Hey, maybe we could burn with per No, that would actually alert more zombies, probably. All right, now let's not do that. There's a burnt house over there. Do we get in here and try to sleep? Yeah. All right. Do we have? Let's let's eat some of the. Wait, that's gonna be bad. Boredom plus twenty and unhappiness plus twenty. Let's drop them. Whatever. Then I don't want to be unhappy, you know. Oh, okay. Oh, water bottle and soda. So I'll pour the soda. I don't. I don't want soda. Disgusting soda. And we'll fill all. We're gonna have a bunch of water now, so that's good. We're anxious, really. Let's get ourselves some of the canned foods, too. Any... Alright, let's eat this. Maybe we should have actually ate the pizza slice. Yeah, we got ourselves some beans and peas. Good. Yeah, we're okay with food now. 
Uh, can we sleep, perhaps? Nope. We are not tired enough. And over here, vitamins. We'll take that. Let's check out the map as well. Open the map really quickly. So, currently, we're over here. Uh, we did loot the house. So, we'll mark the house with an X. And we looted this house, too. This house is poo-poo, though. There's nothing good here. I mean, they are normal civilian houses. So, actually, I didn't really expect much. Oh, there's some cars here. Okay, there's a bunch of zombies over there. Nah, we're not messing around over there. How are my skills looking? Short blade, 21 out of 75. Not that bad, I guess. Yeah, there's a... Oh my god, there's actually a lot of zombies. Maybe I'll make a run for it. Let's take out this one. Uh, yeah, they're coming. Wait, I think I have to go up there. Oh, I think I know where I am. Run, run, run. Oh, this is bad because I'm going to alert both hordes. Uh, I think I may have screwed up heavily, actually. I think I did screw up heavily. Are they following? Oh, yes, they are. They are definitely following. There's another small horde here, man. Why are there so many zombies, bro? Okay, I try to lose them like this. So hop over here and we'll hop back here. There's so many zombies. I think I know where I am. I think I have an idea where I am. Oh, we're getting tired. I'll just keep doing this, basically. Maybe we'll try to get inside this house. Yeah, we're getting slightly exerted. There's only one zombie. Let's try to take this dude out. Alright, lovely, and let's get in here. No alarm, please. I beg you, no alarm. Okay, close window. Close window. There's zombies in here. Oh, yeah, there's one dude. Let's take brother out. Yeah, I know where I am. You can see on the map, we're somewhere where there's a blue building. Yeah, we'll sleep in this house. Oh, there's a dude in that zone, in that house, though. In the house next to us, there's a there's one. Let's go upstairs, and we'll sleep upstairs, man. Furthest the way we can from the door. Sleep. Good night. All right, well, not safe to sleep here. Well, now it is. All right, 7 p.m., 8 p.m., this could be bad. Uh, let's eat the pizza or something. Yeah, let's eat a little bit. What we could do is we could wait it out. Oh my god, there's so many zombies outside. At least I found a fanny pack. Let's go. I'll see the map. So currently we ran all the way over here. What is that building? I want to know what that building is. Is that the church? Oh, I know where I am then. I know exactly where I am. Okay, we're gonna try to sneak out of the house. Let's see, maybe there's a bandage or something. Oh, yeah, there is. Uh, bandage, painkillers, and vitamins. We'll take those. Wait, let's drink first. Uh, sheet of paper, adhesive tape. We'll take the tape. We may be needing that later on, perhaps. I don't know. All right, let's get out of here. So we're going to jump out of this window. Yeah, we got to keep going on this road, probably. There's a zombie coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Hit him, bro. I was hitting the floor. There's a bunch of zombies there. Nope. I ain't messing around with that. We have to keep going down this road, basically, I think. I gotta be careful that no zombies will actually see me, though. Because there's, like, large hordes all around, man. <laughs> yeah, there's more zombies here. There's zombies inside the garage as well. We'll leave that guy in there, though. Right now, the important thing is I actually arrive. Oh, no, he's outside. What the hell are you doing, bro? Idiot. Mm, he's dead. Maybe there's a better melee inside. A crowbar or something like that, man. A long, blunt weapon. Club hammer? Oh, we got two of them, actually. All right, that's good. We'll take the duct tape, too. All right, we got ourselves a bunch. All right, we're okay when it comes to melees, then. Yeah, we're very close to where I want to go. There's a car here. Maybe we'll like, check to see if it has gas. Oh, so I do have bandit on me, so I should be able to, obviously... Hotwire the car. All right, let's see if it has anything good. Let's see the state of this car. Nope, it's out of gas. Okay. Yeah, we have arrived at the double fence. Lovely. Let's just sprint over there. Five zombies there. I'm just gonna ignore them. They can't really do much. There's double fence there, double fence there. So whatever. There's a bunch of zombies in here though. Damn. Four zombies there. And only God knows what's inside. All right. So my plan for now is let's just kill the zombies. Let's kill the zombies. Get inside. We'll make it our temporary home. I just want to get to the warehouse ASAP, man. Over there is a pretty nice area. It's quite safe. And I could do, uh, like, runs from here to Rosewood over and over. And use the warehouse as my home. Please, no alarm. Oh, come on. All right, so we did make it here. Less than a day, actually, which is quite impressive. All right, there's zombies gonna come out. So let's just wait for them to come out. And we'll take them out as soon as they jump through. And there's two. Not a lot. One dead. Both dead. All right, lovely. Let's wear the helmet. We'll wear this. Wear that. And we're that. And now we have ourselves a bunch of um, clothes. So let's drop that, grab that. Why am I not wearing the fanny pack? What? Oh, I already am. Wait, we're carrying a heavy load? Really? Oh, we could drop the pipe. Because now we should get an axe or something like that. All right, let's enter. All right, step one, get to the fire station is complete. So that's really nice. Uh, nothing good over here. Come on, man. Give me an axe or something. Oh, we got some maps. So let's read these. Okay, well, thank you. That's Rosewood. 
Open the map. Yeah, so we've we've learned Rosewood basically. Good. We've read Rosewood. So what I'm thinking is now we'll now we'll take over the fire station, go to the police station, get all of the uh, the guns, then we'll check out these, maybe get to the supermarket, but we can probably skip the supermarket because we actually are pretty good with food. Yeah, there we go, we got ourselves a crowbar, probably use that as my main, I got an axe, there we go, equip in both hands. Alright, so now we can drop the meat cleaver, thank you so much meat cleaver, you are an absolute legend, but we gotta drop you man, I'm sorry. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drop some of these on the floor, put them in the bag. Except the meat cleaver. Yeah, we're going when it comes to melee. There's more axes just in case. There's a lot of axes, damn, actually. There's like five axes in here. Uh, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just depot all of the stuff. Let's see what else there is. There's more gauze cans, hammer. Obviously, we still have to find ourselves a car. So what I should probably do is I should probably like... Let's sit on the ground for a little bit. Okay, there. They just broke a window. Never mind. Can't even relax in peace. Maybe we'll go sleep upstairs. Right, let's see what's in here. Uh, nothing that good though. There's a wrench in there just in case we need it. All right, both dead. There's a lot of zombies, actually. Die. One more dead. All right, good. A wallet. I want your wallet, bro. Your money's not good here. Bro, there's... Oh, they. this is the window that's broken. Maybe we should go sleep upstairs. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go upstairs, sleep upstairs. Then we'll wake up, food, eat, um, drink, do whatever we have to pull, you know? I don't even know if we can sleep. Yeah, we're too panicked to sleep, actually. Just calm down, bro. Calm down. Calm down. We're fine. We're fine. Sleep. Good night. All right, second time we're sleeping. We've basically been alive for like almost 24 hours now. First day. We're already over here, which is really good. Uh, let's fill the bottle. Let's check out what's over here. We'll put the fresh food in here, too. Um, I hope... Yeah, they're still fresh. All right, so we'll put the fresh food in there. We'll, I'm gonna try put the fries. Drop that. Don't need that. Chocolate. Yeah, there's a, there's a few food. A few canned food. All right, so my next step is I'm going to put everything that I don't need here and we'll go to the police station. So we'll drop ourselves one, two, put those there. Adhesive tape, put some of the canned food we just ate anyway. Wait, I'm put, oh, I thought I was putting them on the floor and okay, we're okay. Never mind. All right, so we're good with storage. Our fanny pack is still empty, bag is practically empty. Over here we have ourselves the, the melees. Okay, and there's some zombies outside. We gotta try to find a car, so let's check out if there's any cars outside or over here actually. There are no cars here. Damn. Okay. Let's take out these guys. One dead. One more dead. There's two more. There's actually... Okay, there's a few here. But I, I do. I am confident that I can take them out with the axe. Axe is very, very good, man. We love axe. Okay, maybe I underestimated the amount that there was. Because there's quite a few. But if we kill these guys, we basically clear out most of the fire station. We'll give it a try. And my fire axe broke. Thankfully, I have a backup pro bar. Alright, well, we took them out. Let's drop this fire axe. Didn't really last long, man. Not even a not even an hour in, in combat. Oh no, you don't buckle. I had a zombie behind me somewhere, yeah. We're wet. Yeah, we're super sweaty, obviously. We are exerted. Uh did I lock it? Crowbar, yeah. I want to get myself an axe. Obviously, the axe is the best. There's a torch in here, so we'll not take it for now, though. But it's nice to know that we have a torch. Yeah, we got an axe. Grab one. Oh, there's another dude. It's getting foggy outside. Not that it really matters, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, come through, come through. Oh, no, you don't buckle. Back up. One dead. Both dead. Let's eat the cheese. Oh, I didn't see you there. Oh, my God. Alright, I think now the fire station is practically cleared. Oh, I don't have a can opener on me. We can open the canned tuna though, so let's eat that so that we're full. Alright, and let's go to the police station. That's my goal. After the police station, we'll start looking for a vehicle. Bro, it's so foggy, man. I actually don't really like the fog, because I may be walking into a horde and I wouldn't even realize it. That could not be good, you know? Alright, we have killed 59 zombies till now. Our axe is almost... Oh, damn, look at that long blonde, though. Short blade and maintenance. Light for it, nimble, sneaking, sprinting. Yeah, there's a zombie here. Hello. Let's get the guns. Let's get the guns, then we get the car, and then we'll go to the good old warehouse. That's our mission. Getting to the warehouse. Oh, I didn't see you there. Die. Bulletproof vest. Beautiful. Yeah, other than that, nothing good. Okay. Good that we got a vest, though. Did I just... Oh, there is a zombie here. Oh, no, you don't. Back up, woman. 
All right, now let's take, let's switch to the axe so that we'll break this much better. There we go. Come on, let's open the bag. Take a little early everything. Took the pistol. Do we really want the rifle? Probably not. I'm gonna be honest. Problem. We are already full. All right, let's just take the ammo. We got the shotgun. Yeah, we're gonna be very heavy. I may have to come back. Uh, this is bad. Okay, we'll come back. Movement speed reduced. It's quite all right. Zombies around. I don't know where though. I don't. I'm not gonna really worry about that though. My goal is to just make make it back. We are very wet. You know what? Let's sit on the ground for a little bit. I'm feeling sad. Oh. All right. At least we're moist now. I think I did have books, right? Be gone, woman. Bro, I wish it stops being foggy as well. I can't see anything, man. Even when we're gonna, you know, try to find ourselves a car, I can't see nothing. I don't know if sprinting is a good idea when we have a heavy load. We're gonna get tired very quickly, but it's fine. We made it. We made it. So, first run, W. I think you're a zombie around. I just heard a woman groan. Crazy. All right, let's put everything in here. Uh, so, all of the stuff in our bag. Literally everything except these there. Bullet bandolier. I don't even know what that is. Like a thing around you put around your shoulder, right? Yeah, we got a shotgun. I'm really happy we got ourselves a shotgun, actually. Now over here, let's get all of... Oh, no, I dropped that by mistake. Grab. Grab all. Maybe it stopped being foggy and we could start looking around for a car, but nope. It's still very foggy. So let's go ourselves for the second run. Get ourselves the rest of the items we left. I'm getting slightly exerted and tired. Let's sit a little bit. At least our exertion is gone. All right, let's just go there, get the rest. Maybe I should actually... A few zombies there. Okay, there's three zombies. And we are exert. This could be bad. There's another one coming. One dead. All right, all dead. I was kind of scared there, actually, because since we're, we're tired, we're drowsy, man. It could have gone really bad really quick, you know? Let's get the rest. Yeah, I know we're, I know we're exerted, but let's just get this over with. That's really it. I'm not going to take the rifle. I'm just going to take the ammo, mostly. Box of ammo. Adhesive tape. Shotgun shells. Yeah, we already have pistol. We already have a shotgun. Taking the rifle. Rifle sucks. I don't like it. All right, so let's just sit on ground for a little bit just for our exertion. Yeah, we are very tired now. So let's go back and we will sleep. That's what we'll do. Go back and we will sleep. And then hopefully the fog would be out. What the hell? Yeah, fog's getting better. Any cars back there? I don't see anything. Yeah, let's just ignore that dude. Maybe I'll try to get to the supermarket. I don't know if it's a good idea to be completely honest, but I don't know, man. I just want to get to the warehouse. I just want to get myself a car, fill it all up with, with this stuff that I have. Get out of Rosewood. I just want to get out of Rosewood in 24 hours, but I don't think it's going to be possible. So the goal is 48 hours now. Leaving in 48 hours. Sleep. Good night. All right. Feeling a little sad. Last time I was sad, I just found zombies and I fought them and I was okay. Bro, this was a long nap. Damn. Let's go eat some fresh food. Yeah, it's 8 p.m. All right, let's eat pizza. Lovely. We love pizza. Maybe we get candy will be better. Is there any candy? Where does chocolate? Maybe that'll be better. Eat. Yeah, chocolate helps. Candy makes you happy. Absolutely insane, to be completely honest. All right, so my next step is I'm going to get myself the gas can and time to find a car. That's really it. Time to find ourselves a car. So let's get ourselves one of the gas cans, grab one, and uh, here we go. Why are there 20 billion zombies outside, man? Leave me alone. I'm trying to get out of here. Maybe I should not have took this fight, actually. Never mind, I'm destroying them. Poor guy has a ball spot. We took them out. There's, uh, there's two more. There's a few down there, so... Bunch over there. Jesus Christ, why are there so many, man? Please leave me alone. I'm just trying to get out of here. Just trying to live. Just trying to live, go in the warehouse and get fed over there. Just by eating all of the food. To be honest, I probably wouldn't really last long. But for a while, we probably would. I think I had a shotgun or something. Okie dokie, so let's take out this dude. He's coming toward me. Hello there. So, we'll check out the, in, like, the commercial area where there's a bunch of, like, shops and all of that. And I think maybe we'll get ourselves a car from there. That's really my goal right now. Let's take out this dude in the lumberjack shirt. Hello there. Already? Oh my god. Our swinging is so slow. Alright, sit on ground. Let's wait for a little bit. That guy is doing... What the hell? Wait, we're soaking? How are we soaking? Oh, this guy is not dead? Oh, I thought this guy was dead. He was just chilling on the ground. All right, there's a few cars here, but there's a lot of zombies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get inside. I'm gonna rest a little bit. Why swinging is so slow as well? What the hell happened, man? Let's just go somewhere a bit deeper inside the police station. Let's fill up the water bottle. Well, looks like I have myself another fight. This is the final fight before we check all of these cars. 
One dead. One more. Come on. Die. Oh, there we go. Plus one X. Beautiful. So now you should kill them quicker. Die. Die, woman. I think that's a woman. I don't... Let's not... I don't know. Alright, let's check out this car, please. Oh, it does have... Alright, it does have gasoline. Good. So, let's siphon the gasoline. I'm gonna find myself a decent-ish car, though, to be honest. Let's see what's in the trunk. I didn't check anything for the trunk, to be honest. Oh, wait, there's a... Oh, wait, this zombie had um, some ammo. Let's get inside. Trunk is locked. Let's unlock that. See what's in the seats. Louisville map. West Point map. Alright, we'll read that. Wait. Oh, no, we're not in West Point. Louisville... Alright, so we should have unlocked a, a larger area in terms of maps now, yeah. I don't need to mark anymore, to be honest, as well. Let's right, see if any of these cars have any fuel as well. It does. Siphon gas as well. Oh my god. We're gonna get ourselves, like, a bunch of fuel. That's good. Now, I wonder which car I should take. If the, we should probably take the police car, eh? Alright, what about this one? Does this one have any fuel? I don't think so. Trunk is unlocked. Okay, anything in the seats? Oh, oh, adhesive bandage. Alcohol wipes. Rubber band. Thank you, but no. Let's see what's in the trunk. Oh, another gas can. Tarp. Empty bottle. Maybe we should get this gas can and fill both up, you know? Now oh, we're carrying a bit of a heavy load, though. Alright, let's drop the map. Alright, let's check. Hopefully the police car. Oh, it's not locked. Oh, thank God, man. Switch seat. Oh, we got a key. Oh, that's good. Light, say. Eh? Let's take that. Yeah, I think we're gonna be alright, man. This is beautiful. Hot wire engine vehicle. Alright, let's see if it has any fuel. Let's get out. Add gasoline. Let's add all of the gasoline in there. Lovely. Add even more gasoline. Oh, we could have actually filled up the water bottle. I didn't even know that. That's something new, you see? You learn something new every day. Let's see how much fuel we have. If we have enough for a one-way journey, that's good. But still another car up there, so let's check that one out really quickly. We are so wet. This is insane. All right. There's a bunch of zombies there. Should I take that fight? Wait, it's double fence. All right. We're fine then. Oh, okay. This one had a lot of fuel. Okay, all those zombies are getting here, actually. How many fuel did this car have? This car was, like, full or something. Yep, looks like we got ourselves another little fight. No problem. Oh, I need to actually equip this. Equip. I was gonna fight them with my... With... Okay, there's how many? Like, two, four, six. Like, seven zombies. Two, four, five. Nah, six zombies. Okay. Should be able to win this fight. Easily. Okay, well, this guy's getting too close for comfort. One dead. Another one dead. We're gonna take the Popo car. That's the car we're gonna take to get out of here. And let's fill up all of it. Add gasoline, add all. And let's see how much fuel we have. We have to hotwire it. Wait, let's check from outside, actually. Let's not do it like this. Uh, let's check over here. 8 out of 50. Are you insane? I had so much fuel. Gas can. Where's my other... Oh, this is... What? Okay, well, looks like we only have 8 out of 50 fuel. Um, Let's start putting stuff in the trunk. I think we have to get more fuel, actually. There's a shotgun in here as well. Okay, that's absolute. That's actually really good. So, we'll put one, all of these in there. Club hammer, crowbar. Actually, at 33, I thought it was it would have way more. Gauss can, M9 mag, the maps. Equip in both hands. Did I accidentally, like, put all of the fuel inside this car or something like that? I think that's what I did. Let's see how much fuel it has. No, it's out of gas. Oh, okay, well, never mind then. Should I bring the loot over? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get over to the fire station, bring all of the loot here, fill it up, and we'll leave instantly. We're leaving, we're getting to the warehouse. Hopefully, we'll, the time we get there, nothing is stale. Bro, there's no way we're gonna get out of this so quickly. This is absolutely beautiful, man. You can do the jump, come on, just believe in yourself. We're getting hungry. What even is this for? What's a Chevalier? It's probably for a car, eh? Probably got the car for it. We'll sleep in here for the last night. This is the last night in Rosewood. Well, I was thinking, actually, I would come a billion times back and forth. Problem is, I don't know if I have enough gasoline. That's really the only issue, so we may have to do... We may have to walk a billion times, but I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be fine. I think we're gonna survive for... Hopefully long term, man. Yeah, we're gonna get out of here in 48 hours, basically. I just gotta get all of this stuff. So these are all of my stuff. We gotta fill up our backpack like crazy, so... Obviously... Oh, we have book. Maybe we should read that right now, actually. Read. At least we won't be sad anymore. We are hungry. Let's get ourselves this. Let's eat the chocolate then. Alright, let's see that we didn't lose anything here. Can opener. I think I already have one. Yeah, we already have one, so let's just... We don't need any of these. Let's take the magazine, wire. Bam, one, two, three. The thing is, I don't even remember if there's, um... Wait, this is all the canned- This is all the canned food I have. Okay, well, we're gonna have a bunch of food over. I there was a zombie in here, bro, this whole time. It scared me for a sec. 
Yeah, we're good. All right, let's just go get this stuff from down here. Let's fill up all of this stuff that we have in terms of water as well. Fill, fill all. Oh, there, there, there. There's nothing good here, yeah. Let's make sure we don't leave, any, leave anything. Wait, there's spare engine parts? Hey, maybe we could take that, actually. I don't know. I don't know if we'll need that. I have no idea. Crowbar. Maybe we'll get ourselves an extra axe as well, just in case it breaks. Goss mask. Oh, no, let's wear a goss mask, just because it's cool. Uh, let's get ourselves an axe. We're gonna fill up our inventory quite quickly, though. And yeah, there's more axes over here. Let's get all of this. So this is all of the guns that I have. Get everything. We have three empty gauze cans. Uh, this is bad. I am full of loot. <laughs> we don't need an extinguisher. Put it on the ground. And we only need one. Uh, let's just get that. Shotgun attached to the back. And bullet bandolier. Is there more stuff here? Hammer, pipe wrench, dust. Yeah, I think we got everything that we need, man. It's foggy again. We're always wet. When are we not wet? Let's get to the car. Bro, this is absolutely beautiful. How many zombies did we killed? 97. We didn't even search this part of the map as well. Yeah, we're kind of exerted. Obviously. We're overheated. It's alright, we're gonna be okay, man. Relax, relax. There's some gas here, good. It's gonna be like my extra backup gas, you know? Maybe we could just put it in right now. This one seemed like it had a lot of gas. We'll put the majority of the items in the trunk. Alright, let's put everything that we just got. No, not the axe. Get the axe. Both hands, come on. Alright, shotgun, can openers, gauze can, pistol. All of those go in the trunk. The rest, we'll just put them on the seats. We're soaking. That's alright. We'll be okay. Put all of this, all of the canned food, fries. We'll keep the fries on us. Engine parts. Here we go. Now, I really hope that we can hotwire this thing, actually. Well, did it work? No, it did not. Come on, man. You can do it. Hotwire this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the only fuel we have, but it's enough for us to get out of here. This is absolutely amazing. We're still soaking. Turn on the heater, man turn on maybe it'll help i don't know if that would be worse for our cold we're getting out of here the thing is i can't see where the zombies are so this could be bad this could be bad because i don't know where the zombies are yep see you later suckers <laughs> we're getting out of rosewood in 48 hours we managed to leave rosewood ladies and gentlemen 48 hours is only enough to leave rosewood and we are well equipped we got guns we got melee we got food we got everything we need so I shall not complain. Now, if I remember correctly, we have to keep going straight for the double warehouse. Yeah, we have to keep going straight. Basically, we have to follow the road. I can't see anything, man. That's the issue. I can't see anything. What if we turn the headlights on? That doesn't really do anything. And we keep running over zombies by mistake, actually. I'm not even kidding. It is by mistake because I can't see them. All right, so that takes us to the military, the army barracks, I'm pretty sure. So let's just... Wait, no, that doesn't even... It's not even there, I think. It doesn't matter. Let's just keep going straight. Yeah, there's so many zombies around. There's so many zombies around, bro. There's no way I would have walked all of this. If I walked all of this, I would have just died instantly. Oh yeah, we didn't reach the barracks yet, actually. At least we're killing a few zombies on the way, you know? It'll be easier for us later on. Alright, so I think we have to go this way. Yep. Oh, I hit a car by mistake. Oopsies. Alright, yeah, so we would have gone to the barracks over there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we've almost arrived. We have almost arrived. We're almost to the double. Okay, there is a lot of zombies here. We may have to kill all of these zombies, actually. I hope we're... It's not this close, then. Wait, I think we almost arrived. Where are we? Oh, no, I think that's the barracks. Okay, that's the barracks. This down here was the barracks. Yeah, I feel it's still looking good. The double warehouse. We have almost arrived, ladies and gentlemen. And we have arrived to the double warehouse. Absolutely beautiful. This is amazing. This is amazing. We have arrived. The fog is out. Only problem is, I hope, find a way to actually enter. So the reason why I came here... Please open. Don't tell me I can't even enter. I, I can't enter. I just need... I can't break the window or whatever, but... I don't want to do that. I want to make this... One of my main homes. There we go. Beautiful. Closed window. Only problem is, we may have to just sleep in the car. <laughs> That's probably the only thing. Is our all food? Is the food? Yeah, there's sack of food, sack of eggplants, watermelon, sack of potatoes. This is amazing. Grab all. We got potatoes. We got sacks of food. Where did I put it? Where's my sack of food? Oh, there. Open. Let's open a sack of potatoes. Yeah, there we go. And we got so much food, man. So we're just gonna live off all of this food sack. But the thing is, they're, they're gonna run out soon. 
So we'll eat these until they all get rotten. But we got so much food over here. Bunch of vegetables. A lot of vegetables. Absolutely beautiful. A amazing. There's zombies. There's no way that there's zombies. I thought this place doesn't get zombies. Obviously, we'll try to get a car inside. That's something that I'll definitely do. Can I even open this? What? Can I open the garage? Yeah, there's a zombie in here probably. The double warehouse. These bo Both of these warehouses are full of food. The thing is, they're not canned food though. It's the only issue. Look at this. Even more. Oh wait, there's nothing here. Yeah, broccoli, cabbage. Oh, they already get... Oh, they're already get... Some of them are already getting stale. Okay, well, that's not good. But I do think this is a really good place to live. Yeah, some of them are still fresh. There's so much. And the, the thing is that I like about this is that there's a lot of storage. So we can literally just... And there's some water over here too. I didn't even know about this. So we can always fill up from here until it runs out, that is. And over here, there's a little shed as well. I don't know actually what's in there. Oh yeah, it looks like just some tools. Yeah, some tools. Okay, shovel, saw... Yeah, we can do so much farming over here as well, man. Absolutely amazing. A torch. Yeah, a bunch of melees. Metal, rake. I'm really happy with this. This is where, for now, I'm going to live. For now. So it's secluded. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Um, but probably for our next time, we are going to try to get into one of the main cities. Or we'll go back to Rosewood. Oh, there he is. We'll go back to Rosewood. So that's probably what I'll do for the next episode. But I'm really happy with the progression that we have done. In just 48 hours. We have been alive for two days, man. Two days and we're already, we're already here. Alright, let's get the car inside. Start engine. And let's put it in. Amazing. So now we'll move all of the loot out from the trunk. Oh, I kept it open by mistake. Oops. We can lock the door as well, apparently. Let's get all of the books out. Not the books. Everything from inside. And we'll start putting them in. We're, we're good for a few while. Like we're gonna survive here for a while. Are we? We're probably losing a bit of damage because of so much. We have 40 kg on us. Jesus Christ. All right. We'll put everything in here. Beautiful, man. Look, each of them holds up to 60 storage, by the way. That's so much. All right. There we put everything. Now in the other crate, we'll put all of this, all of the food. Amazing. And then we'll organize later on. I'm not gonna organize yet, but we're gonna go to sleep now. We're gonna go to sleep. Give ourselves extra food as well, extra mealy. Obviously, for now, we won't... We'll eat the, like, the fresh food, you know, obviously. All right, let's just go inside and let us sleep. Good night. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of episode one. I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys want episode two to come out where we will continue in the series, let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.